So we just got an action packed event from WWDC 2024 from Apple where we got loads of new enhancements for iOS 18, iPad OS 18, Mac OS Sequoia and so much more including the brand new artificial intelligence from Apple called Apple Intelligence. I want to go over my top 21 features that we saw at WWDC 2024 and first of all I want to dive right in there with Apple Intelligence. Apple Intelligence has given us so many new features but the key ones that I love I've actually shortlisted at the beginning of this list to start out with and first of all I absolutely love the idea of Image Playground. Image Playground looks so so cool. It allows you to make your own images based on different kind of ideas that you can actually just type into the Image Playground so you can actually develop like this cat picture here that was demoed for example and it's really simple to do it. And also you can pick from three different kind of themes with it too. So that's really, really good. The different styles and how you want the picture to turn out. So that is really, really awesome. To go along with this also was the brand new Genmoji, what makes custom emojis. So that's right, Apple Intelligence can make custom emojis based on, on what you want to create. So you can see here that you could have different examples of where you can actually like create like a surfboard or things like this. It was really, really awesome to see that you'll be able to create your own emojis called Gen Emojis. The next feature I absolutely loved and it's about time Apple got this was the brand new photos cleanup option. So this gives you the ability that any photos that you have, you can actually get rid of people or objects that you don't want in the photos. You can do that cleanup with Apple intelligence so yeah really looking forward to this coming out on the iPhone but moving along from that there was also lots of AI tools or Apple intelligent tools to help you when you are writing too so there is this brand new rewrite text tool what allows you to actually write out your whole text or say an email and then you can actually change it into a different kind of theme you want to make it professional funny or you're more casual you can do that and also there was the brand new proof reading ability to too. So you can actually have your emails actually proofread or your messages proofread or your text and you can actually get better grammar. Something else what I thought was really amazing and this is something what I would love to have on my iPhone is the new summarize messages ability. So this allows you to look at an email as a really lengthy email and then this can be summarized really really quickly and also you can do the same with notifications. So if you've got loads of notifications on your phone you can actually get iOS 18 or Apple Intelligence to actually summarize all those messages together what is really really useful for the sixth thing what is really good at last is Siri as I would say has got a brain Siri is definitely far more useful now there were so many demos here with Siri showing how Siri can actually help you out with tasks during your day and skip around apps too I really really love the ideas of this especially I love the idea of like the help guide so if you know if you want to do something on your phone you're not quite sure how to do it you can ask Siri and it will give you a guide back. I absolutely love that idea. And yeah, I can think of loads of possibilities of how this is going to be useful at last to actually have Siri built into my iPhone and actually utilize it properly. Along with that, I love the idea that Apple have teamed up with OpenAI and ChatGPT and also that you have the option to actually use ChatGPT. It's not there by default. It actually asks you that if you want your information to be shared with ChatGPT, that is an option. So I really love the idea of that. It doesn't always go to ChatGPT, but yeah, you actually have the option to ask it instead. And I love that. But moving on to more sort of software and operating system sort of features, so moving away from Apple intelligence, there was lots of new features I loved there too. So starting out with iOS 18, at last, I can't believe it, after 18 years, we can finally move our apps around in any way that we want it. And also there's abilities like move whole rows at a go and things like this. I'm so glad at last, after 18 or so years, this has finally come to the iPhone. I also love the new added extra here where you could put custom tints on your apps to give them more colors and of course give them like a dark mode kind of feature. That was really, really cool to see too. And then finally, I also love that new control gallery too. So we can actually change all our sort of bits and shortcuts and things like this. And we can actually have them customized into groups now or relevant to like media, for example, or social media too. So this was really, really cool to see this. I loved it and I love it that you can actually create your own groups and customize it the way you want it to be in control center. So it's about time this came along. 
Something else that is also coming along very soon, near the end of June time, is the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this MacBook Pro 14 inch M3 model that we have right here. So that's right guys, I'm giving away this MacBook Pro M3 to one lucky subscriber on this channel. So you'll be able to use macOS Sequoia, what we'll talk about in a moment, all of those brand new AI features, those Apple intelligent features on this MacBook. And you'll be able to get it right in time for when the new macOS Sequoia comes out and all of those new Apple intelligent features come out. Because like I said, it's happening at the end of June time. I just want to tell you a few more specs about this MacBook Pro that we have right here. It is the M3 normal model. It is the 14 inch and also it has 16 gigabytes of RAM up from the stand of 8 gigabytes of RAM and also has 512 gigabytes of storage too. And like I said, I'm giving it away to one lucky subscriber on this channel and all you have to do to enter in is just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're hoping to get in 2024. Put it down in the comments below and like I keep saying it's going to go to one lucky subscriber so make sure you haven't done so already so subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because you'll want to find out when that announcement is going to be at the end of June time when there'll be a little form to fill in too and then we'll be doing the live stream right at the end of June announcing who the winner is of this MacBook Pro M3. One other thing I just want to quickly say guys, sadly there's still lots of scammers and you know people still impersonating me still out there, telling you to Telegram and also to WhatsApp too. Please do ignore them, especially if they ask you like to part with money for postage and taxes. I'll be paying for that on this international giveaway. So please do ignore them or better still, you can see right here, please do report them. So moving on, something else that I'm really happy about, what we can get in iOS 18 is that finally we can actually schedule a text message or a message now. So we can actually have this go at a certain time of day. So like they had a demo here, if it was someone's birthday the next day, you could schedule this up for the next day. So I'm really, really happy that has come along too. I also absolutely love the new Photos app as well. The new Photos app looks absolutely amazing. It's definitely got a nice fresh feel to it. And I absolutely love the idea that you can use filters, views, and you can even do pin collections too. It's really, really awesome to see. So really, really happy with that. Then the next thing I was really happy to see was the new AirPods feature. And this is the ability where, say, Siri is talking to you, you can actually nod or shake your head with a yes or no reply. So that was really, really awesome. With tvOS, there was also something what I really loved, and that was that you can connect to a projector, what allows you to watch at a 21 by 9 projector support view, what is really, really awesome that this has come along. And then with iPad OS, sadly there was no new kind of like Mac OS hybrid or anything like that or iPad OS Pro, but there were a few new features added in. One of those was that brand new floating tab like a dynamic island, what has a menu button, what's going to be universal on quite a lot of apps and that did look pretty cool to use. The other thing what I loved as well is that you can actually help out people too where you can remote onto their iPad or you can actually remote onto an iPhone too and actually help people out. That seems really useful definitely for family members in my family. And then finally calculator was actually also added to the iPad and they actually made it quite cool. I love the new abilities where we actually had the maths notes where you can actually write down your maths equation and it can actually work it out right there and then. And also also, this works in the Notes app too. Moving on to the last three of my favourite features that were shown on macOS, one of my favourite things I loved was the mirroring ability, what you could do on an iPhone. So you don't have to do this as a developer, people have got Xcode could do this for many years, but at last you can do this wirelessly and this looked really, really awesome. I love that ability with the phone mirroring and especially you can sort of move files between your Mac and also to your iPhone really seamless and easily. I love that ability. Then the next thing I loved was the smart script. The smart script writing, this was really, really cool to see too, that you know, obviously you can get your writing updated to actually look like your handwriting. And I think that was really, really awesome. I love that ability. 
And then finally, my last favourite thing that I saw at WWDC was the new password apps. And I love this, that it's universal across all of Mac OS and also iPad OS and iOS. And also it's going to be universal on Windows devices too. You know, if you've got the iCloud app on a Windows device. And I think that was a really nice touch here that you can put all your passwords safe in there and unlock them with Face ID or Touch ID. And I absolutely love this too. And with that, guys, those are my top 21 features that was shown at WWDC 2024. Were any of them your top favourite and were there any others that were your top favourite too? Let me know in the comments below. And also guys, I'm going to be making lots of more videos about WWDC 2024 and what we saw over the next week or so. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also that notification bell to see those videos coming up. And also if you've enjoyed watching this video, please do press the like button and I will see you on the next one. So take care now and bye-bye.